Welcome to What's Cooking in the Library. Because Valentine's Day is coming up, we are going to do strawberries, chocolate covered strawberries and um, cheesecake filled strawberries. So we're gonna do two different kinds of strawberries. These are really good for any time of the year, but fun to give to your sweetheart for Valentine's Day. We're gonna start out with the chocolate covered strawberries. The first thing you wanna do for either one of them is wash your strawberries. And um, I already washed them, and then you want to make sure that they dry. Um, I put them on a cloth next to my sink and let them dry. You wanna make sure they're totally dry and there's not moisture on them. If there is, you wanna make sure they're dry, especially for the chocolate covered ones. So I already did that this morning, so that's already done. Um, I'm gonna start out by melting two cups, uh, just one bag here of, I am using the Ghirardelli Semi-Sweet Chocolate Chips. You can use dark chocolate if you want. You can use whatever kind of chocolate you really prefer. Use it. You can use the melties like this, or you can use also the baking chocolates in the squares. Whatever kind of chocolate you want to use, you can use any of them. Um, we're going to melt the chocolate. Um, today, we are using the microwave, but you can also just put it, do it on your stove top, put it in a pan and stir it the whole time and on low heat until it's melted. Today, we're going to do it in the microwave at 80% power. Turn this to 80% power and we're going to do it um, in 30 second increments. All right. We're gonna stir it every, every 30 seconds until it's melted. Okay, so I've just melt, um, done it for two minutes. You want to take it out when there's still chunks in it, and then you're going to stir it until it's smooth. So now you're just going to take your strawberries you can either put a little tong through the end of it or sometimes I put a um, fork or just use the stems to dip in wipe off kind of the excess and then we're going to put it on parchment paper Get your hands all dirty doing this. If you're me, anyway, maybe you guys won't be as messy as me, but. those look. You just keep dipping the strawberries one by one until you have them all dipped. Yeah. 
All right, so I've dipped um, 10 of them. I have a lot more chocolate that I could dip, but I need strawberries for the cream cheese one. So um, I'm gonna just show you how to finish these up. Then to make them look really pretty, you want some white chocolate. I am using the white chocolate melties. You can use white chocolate chips, um, any white chocolate. Um, and we're going to now melt those. So I am going to melt it the same way, um, 30 seconds at 80% power. Um, I have also, like last week, I made the chocolate covered cherries with the sugar free um, chocolate chips and they turned out really, really good. The chocolate chips made with stevia. So you can also make these, um, I mean, just with whatever chocolate. So. stir the white chocolate chips here until it's completely smooth. Now, there's one or two things you can do with them now. You can use a piping bag, which we actually have a kit with piping bags in it here at the library that you can use, or my favorite thing is to use a Ziploc bag and just cut a little hole in the corner. Close it. And we're just going to squeeze that all down into the corner there. And then you just drizzle it back and forth across. had one little chunk there so you just drizzle it across like that makes them look really pretty so there's the chocolate covered strawberries besides this one that one doesn't look pretty but really fun now you're just gonna let them sit up you can put them in the fridge and let them set up or I mean if you're in a hurry put them in the fridge or you can leave them out and they'll sit out, um, set up over a while. Okay, so our second thing we're gonna do, move that to the side now, and we're going to do the cheesecake filled. All right, start out with a bowl. We're gonna put in eight ounce of cream cheese. that you have let soften. I am using a third a cup of powdered sugar. You can use, if you don't think a third a cup is sweet enough, you can use up to a half a cup. I um, like just a third a cup, so that's what we're gonna use today. But if you don't think it's sweet enough, if you think it's too, too cream cheesy, then add a little more powdered sugar to it. Then we're adding one teaspoon of vanilla. Mix that with the blend with a mixer here. So we're gonna mix this until it's just really smooth. Okay, there's 
our cream cheese mixture. Now we're going to prepare our strawberries. Our strawberries we're going to hollow out the inside. Now at home I have a melon baller which works really good. You just put it down in there and just it just pulls the insides out but I forgot that today so we're just using a knife we're gonna cut the insides out here you want to make sure that I really like the bigger strawberries because then you can put more cheesecake filling in there Just hollow it out, oops, just like that. Okay, working on the last one here, and then we'll be ready to put the filling in. All right, there's our. Okay, so there again, we want to use either a piping bag or a Ziploc bag to put this in. I am using a piping bag for this. Put that cream cheese filling in here. said you can also use a Ziploc bag just like I used it with the chocolate and just cut a corner out We're just going to pipe it into the inside of each of these strawberries. definitely easier if you put it like towards the outside of the thing and I just pipe it right in like this. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna crash up some graham crackers. I just use a couple of graham crackers and put it in a Ziploc bag. using my fingers and break those up. My hands. You can put it in a food processor if you want. To me, it's not worth me having to wash the food processor, so I'm kind of lazy that way. That's why I just break it up in the bag here. now into a bowl like this. Now I just take them and I just turn them upside down and dip them like that. And there you go. It's that easy. So these need to be kept in the fridge. So 
but this is such a, these are so yummy. They just taste so good. And they're easy to make, very easy. So here's chocolate covered strawberries and cheesecake filled strawberries. Mm -hmm. 